Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. Just sitting here watching this peaceful scene and noticing the, the water as it slowly flows under the bridge and how it wavers there with the reflections. Kind of cool. Pull into here and where's the, where's the best angle? I guess where I was. I can see it in the, in the trees a little easier in the bridge. Ah, here we go in the sunlight. Yeah, little lily pads. Hmm. Anyway, <clears throat> spent some time between episodes out over here. Took down the the sheds or the the warehouses. I didn't like the way they were crooked. I made them crooked on purpose to start to align with this bridge, but it just didn't work out. They were too close to things that weren't crooked, and it just it just didn't look right. And I realized that uh, I took all the wells down there, and there's one over here. I, I moved the bridge, that's what it was. So I realigned the bridge coming off of what's going to be a road here, then curving out. And it just, it, it's a little more natural there than over here where it was. And in the process, had to get rid of that well that it already built. Then I found out that there was no good water here anyway. I think it was right over here somewhere, and this whole area is down. There's no good water in the whole, whole corner here. Here there is, because we're much higher uh, embankment. So right off the bat, well, let me rotate that. That's not it there. So we hit good water right there, over here. Here we're not going to get it until we get all the way up into our market area. So we'll have to put a well up in here, along with all these market stalls. So these folks have to come to this area for water. And I think that one well ought to be enough for seven houses. We'll see. See how that goes. May have to do one here and one there. Maybe both ends of the of the market area. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, so I moved the one property over, one house over, moved the bridge a little bit. And I wanted to reset these, but we are waiting for all of this stuff to go away. And there's quite a bit of it, so I didn't say... I guess I could do it with the cart shed, but I'm a little gun-shy now. I know I got a comment saying that uh, you know, folks have been testing the cart shed in every possible scenario and there's nothing broken anymore but well okay let's give it a try uh but to where though i can't send this to a construction site 3900 boards it's quite a bit you're another 3900 and you're 400 yeah i think i'll just I'll, I'll reset the the warehouses later we'll let them naturally grab these and take them to the future construction sites though all the wood's already here for this Hmm, that shed, I call it a shed, that warehouse right there is almost as much wood as a full-blown house. Yeah, I guess I could see it. It's kind of the, si the size of a warehouse, but turned sideways. Uh, right there. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. So, yeah, lots of wood. Otherwise, what? <clears throat> we are working on a little platform dock over here for the chicken coop so they don't rob all the water out of this well over here and how are we doing here we could get you hired up as far as bringing over and for that matter um where's another chicken coop can i see one right there let's move these settings over apply to all so we can get all of our water and and buckwheat and linseed and, and what's the other one barley settings over here so that's good here now one person just hired a laborer hired and they're going to start filling all this good stuff in then yeah we could move like oh five or six chickens out of every one of those other ones something like that and just get this stocked up and start the process though it seems a little wiser to wait until we're actually using these this is where it's going to get deposited before it goes to the different stalls I don't know. We'll just, yeah, we'll just get the supplies brought over first. Anyway, so the dock for you, got a couple of houses we're working on that don't have trees to take down. The stables had all of its trees taken down. And then I thought I'd throw in that bridge right there, in case we do want to get started doing something in here sooner than I expected. So it'll give us another pathway over there. And then you are what? You're the next row house over here. And with that, I'd be able to set the final ro uh, row house corner in there we have you we have you we need one more there 
and it was brought up a few episodes ago in the comments and and I, I assumed that everyone knew that or that I had cho that I had made that comment before but I'll do it again these row houses set just like the the houses with gardens so you can grab a corner and and shrink it up do different things with it so if you wanted to angle things a little differently or make them a little bit longer or even maybe narrower maybe you can shrink this thing up a little bit and make a a taller skinnier house so the things you can do to it i personally don't i would prefer just to keep them the proportion they were designed to be i think it looks kind of funny and unless you just need to tweak it just a little bit to fix something it just it very quickly starts making it look just kind of odd so I, I tend to not even touch that one on the row houses but you know have a lot of fun with these these you can do all kinds of great things with but doing that to a row house <laughs> yeah it, it looks funny um otherwise so that is there and then we're off to this one just to get the trees taken down which means it's the first one in line so these guys should be doing that what are they up to right now waiting for a partner otherwise you guys are off to do it so you're heading over there so they're working on yeah the building site first um that one and then they'll be when that's all done and when they finally get back down below um where am i here below 18 trees again then they'll start taking out more of the red x's so once they're done with this one here i'm going to have to take them down to just one worker for a while and let them just just cut uh, firewood it won't be much else for them to do um, same thing over here i erased all of the red x's and then went in and, and drew them throughout both of these two pastures or two uh, fields, farm fields. So they would concentrate here first, waiting for them to get around to doing these two jobs up here, 19 and 21 trees. I thought that was just going to take too long. So by the time we get out to that, they may have already taken down, you know, half of them already and make that a little bit easier. We're sitting on 18 logs over here. And I don't believe they're working on, or they will work on any of these other ones. They're all up in this area. Right there and right there. So that's all under their jurisdiction. So at this point, I suppose, I need to limit these shifts. Because they don't even have anybody taking their firewood. So they're just all sitting here. Oh, you're over here. Grab this one again. You. So five guys... You're buying food, you're taking a rest, you're taking a rest, you're working by just sitting there, and you're working by just sitting there. So, yeah, let's take you guys down to three on, one off, and that off is going to be an awful lot until we get this, uh, this pile cut down. Where are we at? We're at 18. So we only need them cutting logs probably every other month at the very most at this point. So in that case, let's just kind of do an every other and we'll see how that goes. Something like that. How do we double up? Oh, we doubled up there. Um, yeah, two off there and something like that. We'll let that go and see what that does. We are into June right now. Not much happens in June. July, these guys get up and going. Um, August is the harvesting. September and, and such is the honey. October is the, the gardens you know, in their own homes being taken down. So certain months mean certain things, but June's just kind of a, just a hot month. Mm-hmm. Um, looking at all of the, you don't have anything going on. You got chicken going on. There it is. Okay. Otherwise, yeah. No, you? What's what's with you? We just don't have any fruit. Okay. It means we sold our apples out too quickly. That must be what it is. Apples. No, there's. 959 apples where are you at you're off buying food for yourself okay so where are these apples at they're sitting here there they are 959 yep so yeah we did set this one last time to start hauling in flour 
So you are off to empty all of these guys. Looks like you've done a really good job. There's 60 over there, and there's 120 over there. So I think that's going to work out really well. And storage capacity is zero this time of year because you know it's not till October that all these are going to come in. So I think one thing I did after last episode is I went through every job on the map and kind of reset everything, got us back to normal again after last episode's experiment, but it also gave me a chance to start kind of reevaluating everything, like the salt works. We run, you know, four and five guys for a while till we get too much salt, and then we take it down to just two guys and let that go until we have too little salt and kind of stagger it back and forth like that. Um, I suppose there's a middle ground I could have instead of, okay, four and two, I've been running two and two for a long time, and now we have too little salt. But if I were to do four and two, maybe two groups a year down to two, then maybe we'll hit a balancing point in there somewhere and just get a, a medium amount of salt in town. That could be it. Where are we at on salt right now? Salt down there is 8,500. That's actually pretty good. And when it gets over 10, I, I slow them down. When it gets down to six, I turn them back on again. Because you don't want to wipe out all your storage with it. We don't, we don't use it quite that much. Um, but, yeah, going through all the different jobs, I was able to kind of evaluate when we should have somebody here in the small granary to be taking things in. So I kind of did something like that. Mostly it's September through January. It's kind of what it took to really get everything brought into it. I could probably get rid of January on these. Um... I would think October, November would be the, the big one. September for for honey. And there is a little honey that comes in in August, I'm told. But otherwise, just kind of pop them in once in a while in case somebody moves in with a bunch of extra. I mean, they just want to get rid of it or something. So I, I think that works pretty good. What was that last noise? Heard a noise, but didn't register it. Platform. So the water platform got done over here. And probably too late for... Let's see, you are right there. It says you are supplying resources. Oh, you're filling up a cart, or you brought a cart of something over. There you are. Okay, so you're bringing in, does it say? It does not. You're getting rid of an empty cart. So, no, we're not ready to set these up yet, but I got rid of a cart shed and, and six warehouses. Now, where best to put a cart shed? These fences aren't real. They're just there as placeholders. So, got carts over here. Bunch of warehouses here. About a cart shed there and a cart shed there facing each road. That kind of makes sense. If I could just get you to click. Boy, it's hard to do that from straight above. Demolish you. Cart shed is cart parking. That's what it is. It's over here. So how did we do there? If I were to line you up, you are about like that. So furthest point is about there. Yeah, we're not quite lined up. Not quite. I curved that out probably a little too far. I lined it up with this, but it does look a little funny from here. Oh well. So you, I don't see a reason to leave a gap between the buildings. Ah, uh, there's a, two windows there. Yeah, it's so hard to see when that's lit up. So we got windows in the middle. So we could tap a roof right into this end over here and have it look pretty good. So you, especially this roof. So touching the yellows down below, you're right there. And tap you over. Not like that. Even though they're not touching, it's this place is occupied. So there must be something else. An invisible hitbox in there somewhere. So you're something like that, and let's hold the shift, and then flip over, and do the same thing over here. And even though it's the same building, and I just flipped it over from before, it's not perfectly aligned now. Not like that. Interesting. And you, I can bring the yellows right up to each other. Right? Oh, I had you. Now ah, that's close enough, right there. All right, one tree to remove. So let's get that one, the one tree to remove, in before this one so they get it before they stop working on 
uh, building sites over here. Otherwise, you can jump in before that row house and even jump in before the, uh, the wooden bridge. Now, it probably wouldn't hurt to get more... Or would it? To get more carts in here. I'm wondering. I guess I guess they'll go to the closest one. I guess so. Though you think that'd be just a little bit closer. Although I don't know which building you actually work in. You. That's your home over there. Where do you work? You are a laborer. You don't. Okay. Never mind. Don't know what that means. Let's go ahead and put two more in over here. And how are we doing in general for cart repairs? You're getting a little rough. We could just force that to happen. Uh, you are over here. Could force you to happen. And you. Those are decent. Got one over here. Decent. Uh, you probably need to get to work. And those, not too bad. We're over here now. Okay, there, and here, and there, and one more over here. Yep, I do have them all memorized. Force repair. So have I missed anything? There's one over in this area. You guys, you need a force repair. Alright, so you're going to be doing all of those. Now, how about cart sheds? Uh, they're all going to need it all at once, aren't they? Let's force one of these to repair so they don't all go down simultaneously. And you, you also, force repair that one. So one of them will get done before the rest of them. And hopefully that will keep something moving in this town. Alright, so let's speed things up a little bit. What else is going on? So those two, waiting for these to go away, and we're kind of waiting for... We've got all the building materials in the next two jobs, so it's you. So 14,000 wood. When we get to this project, all of this wood should go away. That one and everything is kind of just laying out and about. If I tell them to do it just by saying make empty, I noticed when I needed to get this well moved out of here in between episodes and I was in a hurry so I could get that last piece of property reset without running the game too far. I said, quickly, you know, make empty. And a whole bunch of ladies, a whole parade of them came out and took 50 boards each. I thought, okay, 3,900 boards? No, we're, we're not going to do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, trees are growing slowly. Love to see that fill up and see just how much of the white wall goes away. Have married and moved into a village house. Nice. Young couple over here. Yeah, hopefully making someone to go into our school. We've got... Boy, these look like little kids. I mean, you are probably 10? Where is your age? 10 years old, yeah. You live there and go to school here. You do... You were the one that was all the way over here. For some reason, the game jumped you to this school. Got sent to a different school district. Yeah, yeah, I hate when that happens. So, I don't even know where all you guys are, but I assume you're mostly from over here. How's this school doing? Nice to see that they're functioning now. For the longest time, I couldn't get anybody into that school. But everything is, is accepting kids now, and for some reason, I don't know what the, the barrier was for this one. What caused that? We went for a lot of episodes with this school here or over here, and neither wanted to uh, to do anything. And what is happening there? I don't remember these squares over the top before. Although now that I think about it, it feels like it feels familiar. Like I saw it last episode, but was too busy to even really process it. But I do kind of remember from up high seeing a, a white rectangle over here and thinking that's odd, but I was in the middle of talking about something else and never got to it. But that's, that's not normal. We don't, you know, I, I, I'm waiting for the awnings to get pulled across for a big uh, outdoor, uh, you know, cover or something. <laughs> anyway, got a good field of sunflower seeds over here. And you are buckwheat. And didn't get our potatoes planted at all. Went fallow this year. Did get three fields out of this, though. That's good. You are potato. Oh, you're potato. That's right, there is one potato I snuck into that field. Otherwise, you're barley and you're wheat. And they look very similar growing up. 
Yeah. Hello. Got a trader in there. You guys are what this year? I know we had a potato. And a very sparse potato. We ran out of ran out of red. What does potato take? Potato takes well fifty percent red, and I guess we had forty something. Hmm. Okay, you are hemp, and you are more potato. Oh wow, three fields of potato. Yeah, it's like the planets aligned, and uh, you don't normally get more than one field of potato. Um, I saw an exclamation. Oh, July. These were hiring up. Okay, so these hired up really quick this time. It just turned July and we're already, all five orchards are hired up. Okay, so I'm running quickly right now and I feel like I'm talking real quick right now as a result. But you are this one and you buy apples and we are quickly bringing them in. Dare we try something? I think they're going to come in pretty fast. Let's sell the whole 2825 to them. And we'll set that right now. 2825. Verify that's right. It already is temporary. So 2825, 2825. Okay. So we get that coming. And I think that we can pick them as fast as, as they can sail their boats. I think we're going to be fine there. And look at that. The trading dock just fills up with all those available laborers to, uh, to help out move all those apples. Now, if I were to switch that over to no longer worker by hand and just get people to bring a big cart full, I think I'd, I'd prefer that. That may blow up in my face if there isn't a cart available, but at the time, I think we're looking okay. It won't help this time. They've already been hired, but over here, you have got nine more days. So you want to buy sunflower oil? And we're about to harvest, so let's sell you 1,000. We can do that now. Deal, and sunflower oil into here. You are way down there. 1,000. And temporary stock you. Next, um, warm clothes. We do have quite a bit of extra warm clothes now. We do. Let's sell 800 of that. Deal. Warm clothes. And I have a feeling my trade... No, that didn't work. Stop. Uh, XU. I have a feeling my trader is about to leave. Running on fast speed like that. Um, I said 800? <laughs> I don't remember. 800. And five days left. So I'm going to run on slow for a while. Warm clothes, broadcloth. Things to sell you. It really just comes down to apples. 92 more? Yeah, we could try that. Let's add one. Okay, but okay, 92 more. What is that? So let's call it 100 more. And we'll do the nine right there. Okay, that'll bring in a few more. And now we're just going to be filling up with guys soon who can do carts. And 156 coming. Okay. Um. Don't have onions? We do have old onions. Look at that. Ah, okay, pause. What condition are these in? That's last year's crop, not this year. So onions are right there. We're halfway, but we have a lot more onions coming. Let's get rid of a thousand onions. A couple months, we'll have more onions to replace them. All right, so 1,000 onions. And temporary stock you. Onions. 1,000. Not 10,000? No, 1,000. And down to four days left. Okay. I uh, can't sell anything more. Is there anything to buy? We're doing good on honey. Doing good on mead? Good enough for now. Window glass refined, dried fish refined, iron ore, salt. Yeah, we're, we're done with you guys. Great. All right. That's finished. Was I doing something in between or before? I was noticing that the that the orchards are are uh, up and running now. These guys, I never, yeah, didn't, never accidentally hired them. Good. Probably, I'm not gonna 
tear them down yet. I don't know that there isn't a neighborhood over here. There could be a small neighborhood, kind of like these guys. Where's my flags? Mm, kind of there. Okay. Could be a little something like this with more garden uh, variety homes in here. In between this farm and that farm. And we'll see. We'll see uh, as we start to fill this up and get this market going. If there is still a glut of people that are looking for a job, 25 and 27 laborers. If that is still a good, you know, good number, even after building these houses and setting up these jobs, then that'll let me know whether or not I need to uh, add yet another neighborhood. Could be that we'll bounce out just right by the time we get this whole this whole thing built out. Um, what else so what was i thinking of did i i limited one of these guys we just did this one right now and you're actually you don't need to be on this month either we're still at 18 logs and nobody's working so let's take you down even further so july can go down and so september november february we'll leave five months it gives two months for the one guy to cut some of these up, but they, because they're so close, it doesn't take long to, to fill this up again. That's, yeah. And they're going to be doing all these first. Maybe these. So, I bet you just three months a year is enough to give them another three months worth of work. Probably so. So, let's pull you out as well. I grab that? Yeah. So boom, boom, and then a pause, and boom, and a pause, and boom. All right. That's enough for the three to take down logs for the one to just cut firewood and nothing else. All right. That works. Um, what are we doing up in here? How are we on, the, on these guys? Child has been born. Where are we at now? We're at 362 population without hardly even trying. We're mostly birthing. <laughs> These uh, these people, it's, uh, these are our own people. Um, tannery, we could get another round going. Three hundred, a oh, zero of three hundred. You've got nothing going on except for some. Where are you right now? You're going to work, so it's just the fifty sheep that's in there. Let's send four, five, six, three each. Let's send six in here. Get a bunch of tallow made. So three out of each. We're all there's twenty one. So one's someone was just born let's get a five-year-old cow and bulls we have a one-year-old bull there we have several one-year-old bulls and one-year-old bulls can be put on a plow so let's do two of these guys there's three out of there and you have a four-year-old cow otherwise a bull 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 and these are about to become one-year-olds. So let's pull you out, you out. And you out. Okay, that fills that tannery up. How's this one doing? We know we have one sheepskin ready to go. There's one over here as well. So two more. Another couple married. Good. Um, two more. Finishes one row. So I need six sheep. Okay. So give me six rams. Uh, you, you, what do we have below this? A lot of sheep. Good. So a lot of milk. Uh, we've got several one-year rams. Okay. So we can take out the two years. So that's one, two, three, four, two more, five, and six. And that leaves at least one more and several more below that. Okay. So we're good there. That's enough to get both of these runs going. Because we only have the 50 and there's the other 50 sitting up here. Still there. Yeah. And you are on your way to get a cow. Okay. Now, that means it's going to be a while before we get to these 50. So how old? Oh, there's not much uh, rot going on at all there. So, yeah, that's your time out fine. Okay, so that's you guys. What else can we get our hands into and micromanage how's the cemetery doing we're still doing fine i mean where are we 60 some episodes and i haven't even filled a small cemetery yet 
<laughs> Good health care in this town. Um, I did notice that we had one very full shed and one that had gone down to, I think it was 1,100. So we are using it. Now it's two cow sheds tapping this one for a winter. That's probably what that was. So as long as we get most of that back before next winter, we should still not even get into this guy. So we've got plenty of reserve and they are coming out here and filling all these. You are going... Really? Where are you going? Interesting. I put this fence out here. Where, where am I now? I put this fence out here so they would I would could force them to take where's my fence let me get down here where I can see where I'm at right here I put this fence in all the way through to force them to start making a pathway along it to get a road going up into here from this road <laughs> and they're walking all the way around just to not do that unbelievable <laughs> okay let's take this snap you to it and I'll go the rest of the way I guess yeah right there it's got to be a shorter path now to take the road I wanted them to take the road down uh, where's the road right here I wanted to connect that to that then they can curve over and go into the different pastures or different uh, fields but and eventually you'll probably also have an opening over in here somewhere so they can get access because there's going to be a main road right here past our field fields so this will be a road tapping in and this will be a road tapping in so i want two roads going in and a fence between and it's kind of shape this so we have a, a a nice road going through the forest but yeah like herding cats sometimes um what else is around here? Okay, there's something I had thought about. I would mentioned last time the idea of putting the, uh, the charcoal in here. At least these two, maybe put four in here. I'm going to up our ability to make charcoal. Um, then, as, as has happened many, many times, there was uh, another comment that came in about the construction office. Where is that? Education, health, uh, government. And I've never run a construction office before. And if there's any place on this map where a construction office makes sense, it's probably in a place like this. Yeah, kind of, kind of fits. Um, is that? I don't know. If this warehouse stays. That's just kind of stuck out there. But it may be that something like this happens. And start to build up maybe warehouses in here. I don't know. We could still move the charcoal into there. I was wondering if this is, you know, if this is where this goes. Something like that, but I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know what to do with this void here next to the school. I don't know what to do with this void alongside these houses. So maybe this gives reason. Let's get rid of that because that's just a leftover from days gone by. But government, you spin you around, and this road comes over. Eventually, it works its way through here. I still got to shape this. I need to get any defense around here and do some shaping here. I haven't done that yet. Otherwise, it comes around. I guess it becomes this. As well as a diagonal that fires off from the this area, especially the brickworks, down and into here, which is starting to fade. That was completely barren before. We're not making as many bricks. We have less guys. But where else are they getting water from? You are not production. You are not for production. I've done all the wells in here. So if they're not going to get it from the water, you, you, you. We did put one over here. 
and that one is fine it's just kind of a you know just in case and I see they, they run it dry all the time industry does hmm so either they found another well I don't know of I can't believe they're making the trip out to here that doesn't make sense it's got to be here oh some are heading over here okay and some are heading over here we do have a, a trail here now okay so they're they're just kind of splitting themselves up and now now I'll take it back I was gonna say maybe a brick worker on their way from way to work is stopping by and getting water but I don't think it works that way I think they have to get to work get their assignment then they go and do whatever they're gonna do so other than bricks what else uses water here these guys do not this is no longer a building that's no longer a building that's no longer being used you are and you use water so you're heading down to this one you are heading down to this one you don't use water and the rest of these are warehouses huh interesting anyway that was as bold of a road as this is a couple episodes ago it kind of surprised me to see that and so construction office so roads that's where it is roads I think that would make a nice ending to this and then maybe another row of of warehouses over here trees in front of them leave a space for trees in between Let's see if that works government you're over here you and we set you to the fence I think it's the most logical not easy to do that's pretty close okay so if we set you to the fence you're gonna be off from this just a little bit because one wasn't built for the other and I gotta get you real tight in there hmm does that look weird or does this go away I think it goes away we emptied it once to make it go away yeah I think it goes away Huh. This could go in a little bit then. This could turn and face this way and another one and another one. And it would look like it was all one bank of buildings. Kind of like that. We did fill up a whole bunch of charcoal. So I really need a Dukachi right now. <laughs> if I were to make empty, I have no idea where to make it empty to. Really don't. You're full. Well, you're fuller. Let's make empty and so you are emptying the building we'll put another worker in there to help out a bunch can go over here and I guess the rest can all start to head up into other places but I just assume by now that they've already done that no 5,000 space over here okay and you have got none in here either they're not making the trip interesting you're taking a rest. Hmm. If it's just her and the laborers aren't doing anything and she goes to get one wagon full and drops it off, as I think that's 600, then these guys are probably taking that 600 rather quickly. Or at least the laborers are loading them up. But there's plenty of coal in both those places. You could use some more. What are you set for? Charcoal, you're only set for 1,000. So that's almost there. Okay. Um, we're in ending July. I'm noticing that growth is ripening is almost done out here. Yeah. So yeah, you need to go down. And I could just do this. Let's move five thousand by cart to which one? To this one. We'll do that. You can take five thousand, you have the space. Okay. So that will, I can't click on anything, that will take care of the bulk of that and the laborers will take out the, the, the rest of it. That'll be done. Then this will go down. Construction office, two more warehouses. What's over here now? Ah, they moved it. So we started filling this? We're sort of building it. Whoa. Okay, good. Uh, 13,000 wood left to put in there. That's quite a building. Um, so let's lay out some warehouses then, right? I don't need to... Well, I guess we could just see what's going on here. 
So we're still ripening over here. Who is going to... Still ripening. Who's going to hit first? Is there a particular crop that ripens faster? Guess not. There's three different crops and they're all even. Okay. Would be nice if different crops had different uh, timings. A little more realistic that way. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen here and how quickly it's going to fill up. We're not waiting for plows, so there's no time limit. We can start filling instantly when that happens. So see how that goes. But I want a real road over here this time. So let's set some fences. All right. Nope. Stop that. There we go. So I want you. That is the road there. So you go from there to... Well, I can't really see. There. Now to something like that. I guess more like something like... Well, i got to go far enough that I'm out of the trees. So that's kind of the alignment. Next one probably comes in from there to about like there. What's that look like from this side? Yeah, that one's really off. Both of them are. Okay. Cannot look through the trees and make that happen. Start over. Yeah. Can't do that through the trees. All right. We'll do it this way. I've got a pretty good view of it right there. And then we'll go check that farm. Um, you. There you are. So coming through here. Click. Down like that. And... That building turns. We're kind of there to actually pull that back. Let's go all the way. So the road should be at least like there to there. Too long is there. Okay. So there's the road that would have looked better last time. You're already set there. So the that being said, that means that the warehouses need to be pretty much in line with that and then paralleled here real well. But we should be ripe and one person has jumped in real quick. Uh, Marifa. Two people, three people, so it's happening. Where are we over here by comparison? That's not a farm. There you are. Got a whole row over here and I've limited it to a row. Though I noticed last time that when I limited it to eight, it, it filled in nine curious if this did that too. Both were doing that. Now, now we're staying at 8. Okay. So you got your 8, you got your 8, and that way not everyone can steal everything. And we're still waiting for these guys. Yeah, it's, it's this farm over here. It always has been. It's interesting how they can't seem to draw like the rest of the farms can. It just doesn't have quite the neighborhoods around it over here. The other ones fill up almost instantly. Yep. Okay, but we only have two fields to deal with right now. So as these houses come in line and they also get laid off seasonally, they will be able to jump in and help out too. And then if a neighborhood does go in over here, it won't be a big one. Maybe kind of like this corner here, another four to six houses laid out in this area. Assuming that once we lay our first market stall in, that we can reach it and looks like we can so those markets will do us fine over here for a neighborhood got to get out to here before it says no market stall nearby okay so a nice little market area right there ought to be able to supply houses through here in between another farm over here and then bridges to hops farms hops fields over here to the distillery and brewery over here and warehouses and and the whole works. Yep, I think that's going to work out rather well. Good. You can go away because you're just going to confuse me. And how'd you do now? Still can't get a full roster. Interesting. And I didn't limit these guys. We can take 20 over here. But there just aren't 20 that live near enough that are interested. Now, I did find that this dock had the wages... Hmm, I thought I turned that down. It was this one? 
It was this one. One of these two, that one or this one, were up to 140%. Now I did do this one because we, we don't use it very often. So when I do need them, I want them over here quickly. These boats should be on their way, right? It's been a while. There they are. You're just creeping along. Here's you guys. I'm running slow right now. I guess I could speed it up a bit. Um, otherwise, this dock or trading post, no bonus. So the only bonus I've got out there now, I believe, unless it's something I've missed. Um, you guys? And you're not... No, nope, well, 120. I did do that for those, but that's a worker position, not a labor position. So as far as laborers go, it's this dock because there's less workers here. And actually, I almost take that down to two because we don't use that dock very often. And these guys are still at 120%. So that's all the labor positions I have now that are more than 100%. So they're the only ones that are that are stealing people from. Oh, you're done. Good. Stealing people from worker positions. Uh, delivery orders, yeah. So you need to get out of there this time if it's possible. In fact, I can move you in front of that one. I don't mind doing that. You guys go tear that one down. Um, so this is going to be fine. Let's lay out some warehouses. So I want the gap between the groups of warehouses to kind of align with this. So it could be kind of right in there. Let's grab a warehouse. Don't have one? Don't have one. You are here, and you are aligned with those, and man, that's perfect. How did I manage to do that? I guess these are the last ones that I aligned. Okay, and unless I do it all the way back here, I want it to be closer. So I kind of need the entrance is to be out on this side. That feels so odd though. They're working in here. Maybe we don't do three and three. Maybe we just do one and three. In which case that fence has got to go. It really does. Come on now. There it is. That's got to go because I need the entrances to the warehouses to build into that, that gap. Like that. Okay, so you're going to be here. So that means you can be probably like that. Maybe I can get two right in here and then start that road. Does that look weird like that? Well, unfortunately we can't see it because everything's yellow. Uh, warehouse finished, good. So the entrance, it does feel a little tight even though it technically it works. If I did you like there, there. I think I'd like to keep people from walking through there if I can. But I can do that with fences. So I can go back just a little bit more. So there and there, then put the road in. Yeah, let's do that. So you're going to be there. Let's kick it back a little bit so it doesn't look so odd. And then we'll f I'll fence in between. Oops. Okay, it worked. Grab you again. Put you right here. There we go. And shift. Then a narrow road, narrower than that. So about like so. Alignment wise, pretty close. There, a bank of three over here. And right there, okay. So these guys, Actually, in that case, let's get both of these in here. Also, while this crew is working on... Uh, though I don't know if these are closer to that guy than that guy. That guy. That guy. <laughs> Chance of me getting them from here? Yeah, I can't see them. <laughs> so I don't know who's actually going to do these jobs. So in that case... Before or after... Oh, it's done. It's already happened. Okay. So we're already working over here again, and they've been doing quite a job over there. Ah. Well, let's shove these in then. You're next. You're there. 
there and there. I didn't even notice what they said. Uh, three, two, one. <laughs> Perfect. Like I planned it that way. All right, so you are basically done. It worked. It's just the beginning of September. It got done before these, but these did have three fields. And this one's always done first because the fields are smaller. So pretty soon we'll have six fields up and running here. And that will uh, that'll give them a little more work to do. Um, did you... Were, there was this one, and that ox did get brought over. Okay, good. Um, how is this happening? We are still slowly doing this. Okay, so you are still working on those. Though this may be the second run. You're already started? Yeah. Hmm. I think it means there's three left. I think that's what that means. And that means we haven't done any sheep yet. So the the 50 over there got brought over. Sheep are next. Okay. Um, so what else are we working on? So a bunch of warehouses for here for storing all of the, uh, the stuff that is going to be centralized to go out to all the markets. We can store salt over here and, and all the warm clothes and shoes and all those sort of things will all eventually land over here and then get redistributed out to all the market areas. And then this one probably goes away or you just become storage that's convenient for the trading system. That could be what happens there. Yeah. Noise I heard before, that was, that was a couple of kids born, right. Onions got sold, apples got sold. And all of that is done because the boats came and went. Eight apples are left. Let's just turn that off and let these go back into the uh, into the system. Glaze is still sitting here, waiting to go into a a warehouse. One of these right here for the pottery and for the glassworks. So all that happens right in this area. So it'd be nice to get one of these guys done. Oh. Marifa again. I, I completely lost the other Marifa. Um, yeah, you need to get moved up into the system. Where on earth are you? Um, there? You've got one left. Let's move you in. Let's get a whole bunch of warehouses done. So, glassworks, warehouse, and warehouse. And what are you? You're the pottery. You have eight trees left. Yeah, I guess move you in too. Oh, that didn't move. Pottery. Move you in, too, to get these trees taken down. Otherwise, the glass works is ready to build. I got a row house ready to build. This row house is still over here. Okay. So we're doing the stable, and we're just about ready to see it finish. Yep. There it is. Put the, uh, the, 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 what'd you call that? Anyway, put that up. <laughs> I don't have a word. My mind went blank. Um, we've got stables. Okay. Got nothing to do with the horses right now. But I guess like the chickens, I can... Let's just turn you... Do we do you? Or do we wait for you? I just wanted to get everything loaded. Let's... Hmm. I have a feeling that... This is so far away until this is up and running to go and collect them that a lot of this is going to rot before it makes it all the way back into the system. Let's just turn you off for now. One. But let's turn you on. One person. And I would say a lady out here. And we'll have a lot of ladies available once all these houses go in to bring over... Hey, 500. So, hey, yeah. May need to get a little more hay set up around here. Uh, car parking is done right there. Let's get two into there. And so hay and water. And we'll get that going right now. We'll put 5,000. Let's put 1,000 water in. That's not too far away. It's yeah, easy to get to. Um, wheat, barley, linseed, 
Horseshoes. Oh. Horseshoes. We need eight. Let's bring... Let's just set it up for 100. Horse tack, 100. We won't be using that quantity, but we'll at least have a place to put them now. Uh, so 500 hay. Do we bring a backup over here? We could bring over 500 barley as a backup. Uh, don't do buckwheat. That's only for the chickens. Linseed's going to the chickens. All right, so 500. That's 1,000 food potential over here. We don't really have a use for barley right now. So there should be quite a bit built up. Zero. Interesting. So apparently the chickens are eating lots and lots of barley. How are we doing over here? That's barley there. We have a set for 500. They must have just topped them off. Okay. Up in here, barley. Three something. Two something. Okay. We don't have a lot of barley growing. There wasn't a need for it. Over in this farm, we'll have a lot of barley growing. Barley and wheat. So that will be a thing over there. You guys are building a bridge. That's why all the activity over here. I see. And that means we're going to be using a lot of wood out of here. Okay. Oh, this got taken down. And where am I at now? It feels like I'm at that 50 mark, but I'm actually at the 55 mark or more. All right. So a construction house office over here. And rotate a couple of times there. I think that's better. Rotate you in to match the fence. Yeah, we still need to get those nails out of here, but with the bridge building project going on, I would think that the nails will disappear on their own here real quick. Now, you could be up a little bit. Now well, we can split the difference. Go in the middle of that column. And we kind of hide our Blurred vision double column right there in the corner. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you're about like that then. Uh, reason to get behind you could be we could do that. Yeah, there's room to plant trees behind. And in a little bit, you are there. Okay, so let's grab. Uh, no, we'll keep the same alignment. So grab this way. More warehouses. That should be parallel, and we'll keep the backs aligned, and no reason to walk between them. And that looks like it leaves a really good gap in between over here for a good road. I'm only going to get two of them, and that'll be fine. Places occupied. That is a maple tree, and why does it not say that I need to take a tree down? Was it in the previous one? It was in this one. Okay. So you also get bumped up into the list of take this tree down next. Um, heck, I'll just do you right now. And then move this one into being built next. All the way up in there. And all the way up in there. So what are you? You're the wagon shed. You're going next to. There's going to be a lot of building materials running through the system right now. So how are we doing on that? Nails are where? Oh, all the way down there. It's almost 2,000 nails, so we're fine on nails. Okay, because we're going to go through a lot of buildings here real quick. Each of these warehouses are 100 nails. So there's five, 600 nails right there, another couple hundred there. And the wagon shed is that. What's in between? Construction office is another couple hundred nails. Uh, someone's got the flu and a wooden bridge is in. Ooh. Looks like a brand new bridge. Look at that. Nice and shiny. No foot traffic worn on it at all yet. <laughs> okay, so we are slowly but surely getting access to the other side of the map here. That's going to look impressive. You need more lumber? That's fine. You just take your time there. We have more iron ore than we know what to do with. The only thing left I can think of to do this episode is kind of take a look at our uh, our crops that have come in. And are they still coming in? We're at the end of October. There's some uh, green up arrows yet, so we're still... Uh... Oh, yeah, dried fruit. Let's slow down. 
So these, well, these trees aren't producing yet. So nothing to really detest there. Okay. I was curious to see if these folks all had dried fruit in their, uh, uh, in, in their, their pantries before the dried fruit really hit here and, you know, got on, got into the markets. Dried fruit would be one of these other ones right there. So no one's buying it. There's no red down arrows. People are quickly buying dried fruit. But yeah, I'd be curious to see when these fruit trees do mature to see if they start collecting fruit when they have no gardens. That was what I was curious about. Is I was told when I first started this series, you know, plant lots of, of fruit trees because they come out and they pick them. I've never seen anybody come out and pick them. So, and I never had a controlled environment like this to be able to go in and really just see what they do. So these, from July on, I'm curious to see if these apartments start filling up with dried fruit. You know, we got some apples over here. We're, they they must have bought them in a market. Okay. Um, do we still have a Marifa? We don't. Did Marifa buy apples? Was that a big mistake? I guess there's no way to verify that. Yeah. Um, so you are... i got to wrap this up. So still lots coming and going. And over in here... Here, you buy a lot of stuff. There's only flour going on there. Interesting. There's some things happening here, but for the most part... I wonder if this is absorbing most of the neighborhood. I expected some of the stuff to be going on. I mean, right there. Got cabbage and garlic and onions and horseradish. There's the cabbage. None. Huh. Horseradish. None. So maybe this just isn't that necessary. We, do, we did get quite a bit out of here honey so probably these folks so maybe this little area right here cannot reach over there and so it defaults to this one don't know but yeah this might be something that could go away it's possible we'll see or at least leave one for the flower and and these particular products that we do see moving over here yeah maybe I'll move these three into this one and test that again next year and if if she doesn't pull anything else into here then maybe we'll just shut that one down yeah possible a little streamlining there did we ever how did we ever do here I, I kind of never went back to this one let's look at this real quick so yeah I should have done that sooner so we don't need any wheat over here don't need any barley over there's where our barley went okay bring you up to 1000 water potatoes could work um, go back to that. Potatoes could be a thing. So, 1,000 potatoes over here. I'll have to alter this as I go I, once I figure out what the pigs actually eat and what they don't. So, 1,000... And how quickly they eat them versus how quickly they rot. So, maybe something along those lines. And now it only does me any good if I actually bring some pigs in so next trader that sells pigs this will have some food in it we'll just have to wait and see how well that works you should be or well, you taking a rest we're going to work and then you'll be off collecting all those things so yeah next trader that has animals we'll have to get pigs coming in and see just how that goes but with that i'm going to call this one done thanks for watching folks and i'll catch you later bye bye now Thank you.